Assalamualaikum and welcome. I am Dr. Asma. Today we are diving into uh, trigger finger. It's also known as stenosing flexor tenosynovitis. This is a condition which uh, hampers daily activities of the patients due to finger pain which interferes daily activities of the patient. So what exactly is a trigger finger? In our hand there is a tendon called A1 pulley which connects the forearm, forearm muscles to the fingers and when this pulley gets inflamed uh, the work of the hand is hampered. This is due to wear and tear usually when the pa when patients who are working long term using hand these patients usually get this A uh, A1 pulley uh, inflammation and causes trigger finger. This creates characteristic locking feeling sensation when patient is moving his or her hand. It, for example, it looks like a rope hanging on a hook while moving and it gets stuck. When patient is doing daily works, the patient feels like his hand is a pop while moving by this hampers daily works like holding a cup or uh, using keyboards. Now let's talk about which patients are at risk of developing trigger fingers. Usually female population is more common than male population as well as when we age, the, pa uh, the patients who are aged from 40 to 60 years have this condition more common as well as the prevalence in diabetic population is more than other population. Uh, com compared to age and gender, there are other like inflammatory diseases like ankylosing spondylitis, rheumatoid arthritis. These patients have more prevalence of the trigger finger than other patients. Now let's talk about the risk population. Usually prevalence of trigger finger is 2% in general population, but it's more common in female population as well as when the age is more than 40 years to 60 years, it's more common. Beyond age and gender, the conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism, and the patients who are suffering from carpal tunnel syn syndrome have the trigger finger more often than the general patients. The primary cause of trigger finger is continuous use of the hand. The people who usually play piano, musical instruments, or use keyboard, or play different sport activities, or in walkers, which leads to the A1 pulley inflammation, and then this leads to the pain over time. As for the symptoms, the okay. as for the symptoms, the trigger finger starts with usually pain at the base of the finger, which you may feel the as a click while moving the finger. Later on, uh, as the disease progresses, finger usually bend, and with the help of other hand, it may be possible to straighten with a sound of popping or later on as the disease progresses at times the finger could can't be oh, I have looked this sorry, <laughs> sorry. okay as for the as for the symptoms As for the symptoms, the trigger finger usually starts with the pain at the base of the finger and then the, as the disease progresses, the pa uh, patient will feel the pain and popping sound usually or feel the pop while moving the finger and later on as the disease progresses, the patients wouldn't be able to like straighten the hand because of the inflammation of the A1 pulley tendon. While we can't always prevent the trigger finger, we need to prevent the disease progression. The first thing we can use is taking small breaks in between the work 
as well as stretching the fingers and giving some rest as well as using the equipments which are more friendly for the, the which are produced more ergonometric tools as well as uh, preventing the underlying disease condition and uh, taking the necessary medication to control the underlying diseases like diabetes, arthritis, this kind of condition. While we can't prevent the trigger finger, we have to prevent the disease condition. I will be highlighting some of the main important points like we can use in our daily life to prevent the trigger finger. First thing we can use is like taking short breaks while working for a long time as well as using the tools which are ergonometric friendly tools as well as doing stretching exercises and controlling the disease process by taking diabetic medication as well as treatment for arthritis. Managing health conditions like diabetes mellitus, rheumatoid arthritis, these conditions when we pre like control the diseases, the, we can prevent further happening or progression of trigger finger. If you are already experiencing the symptoms of trigger finger, please follow a doctor. Initially, the symptoms when you are having the pain and clicking sounds in this stage, the symptoms are very mild. Later on, the symptoms increases when you can't straighten your finger. So in this stage, the treatment also will be more invasive. So initial treatment will be usually splitting the finger as well as using some non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which will help with the pain. Later on, if the disease prog progresses and the symptoms didn't disappear, so usually as pain physicians, we usually go for intervention methods. For persistent cases, we usually advise corticosteroid injections or PRP injections, which will be guided by, guided by ultrasound to deposit the medication into the right spot. For severe cases, when conservative treatment fails, there is small surgical procedure called A1 pulley release procedure, which the patient can undergo. Remember, if you are experiencing trigger finger symptoms, don't hesitate to seek medical advice and discuss the treatment options. Thank you.